what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Jamie B thanks for stopping by so in today's video I am showing you guys how I create my thumbnails for my YouTube videos I'm going to place the screen obviously over me talking and walk you through everything that I use and do in order to create my awesome fun jazzy thumbnails and if you guys are wondering how I got this makeup look then go ahead and check out the video right here I uploaded it yesterday but without further ado we're gonna get into this video so if you're excited or wondering how I do my YouTube thumbnails then go ahead and keep watching all right so now that we're up and recording I do use a MacBook just so you guys know um, basically what I'm gonna do is we are going to create my thumbnail for Friday Okay, so this is the website that I use or the app, the software, however you want to put it. It is canva.com. It is, they have a free option and then they have a pay option. I do the pay option. I pay $12.99 a month to use Canva. However, they do have a free option. You just get less options and choices. Just as a quick overview, when you log in, you can create a design and there's tons of them. I mean, this is more than just thumbnails for YouTube. I create my channel art this way stuff for my Twitter all kinds of stuff Instagram your like Instagram stories posters videos cards animated social media LinkedIn posts so many different things that you can create with this app um, you can store all of your designs like I have so many designs in here from so long ago from when I first started using this like this was back I believe in tw like oh gosh the beginning of 2019 because I was still pregnant so yeah this like it stores a lot of different stuff so I just want to go here and usually I will click on here and just edit this already done thumbnail but I'm going to show you guys step by step what I do they also have an app however I don't like the app I don't like using the app there's nothing I like about the app so I don't use it I always just use it on my MacBook so I go to create a design now I can type in YouTube thumbnail and just make sure it's 1280 by 720p that's what you want that is the perfect size for a YouTube thumbnail you can type in literally anything you're looking for now they have these which are like recently used templates and stuff like that but I'm gonna go through each of these options down here before we get started so you have uploads basically this is every photo that you upload that you want to use they also have videos and um, audio but those won't be used for thumbnails they have templates like I showed you. They also have photos of their own that you can use. Um, I do believe these are free. No, so see I'm hovering over this one and it says pro with a crown. Anything that has that on it, you can only use with the payment option. So maybe there isn't any free photos. I'm not really certain. I don't really use these. Then you have elements, which I use a lot, but see how I hover over this one and it says free. So as long as it says free, then you're totally fine to use it. But if it says pro, unfortunately you can only use it while you're paying for it. But there are so many different stickers, um, shapes, lines, blurs, whatever. So you come over here and you can literally make this a background, but like blur it out. Um, it's just really, really, there's so many things. Like if I typed in makeup, like, I don't know why I did that, but if I type in makeup, you get so many different cute things that you can add to your thumbnail if you want to. So text is pretty self-explanatory, but you have a heading, a subheading, and a um, little bit of body text. I just use the add a heading and I will edit my text using these features up here and effects. Uh, I don't use the smaller ones. I don't find the need for it and delete is over here. So they do have pre selected like templates of um font and stuff that you can use and you would just double click and edit it but I like to do my own and I usually use the same font every time I do recommend that it be something that you use consistently if you want to spice it up every now and again you can that's totally fine I do it a lot um but for the most part I use the same font every time just to make it nice and clean when you're looking at my page as a whole so then they have styles which just gives you like different styles of text and background and stuff like that which again I don't believe is something I would ever use for my thumbnails audio video again two things I don't use for thumbnails and then you have backgrounds which I do tend to use these quite often today we are going to use one there are free ones there are pro ones so you would just have to go through and figure out which one I tend to use this one or this one and for today's video 
I think I'm going to, I have to get rid of this stuff. I think I'm going to use this one today because I always use this like really tan one. So I pick a background and I usually only put a background if I'm going to be removing the background of my images. If you're going to just use your image, like sometimes I will use my image or I'll use other photos as a background, then I won't even bother. But today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So I'm going to be making my thumbnail with you guys for Friday's video. Friday's video is a TikTok makeup hack. I actually had it done and completed for last Friday, but then my Huda Beauty mystery box came in and I had to get that one up. So I just pushed this one off to the side. What I do for my photos is I pull them right out of my final cut, um, the video. So that way they're more natural. There was a time, I won't lie to you guys, where like I would kind of stage my thumbnails and sometimes I'll still do that if I feel like I don't get a good um facial expression or something like that. I feel like when I use the video itself I just get a better like more real expression and feeling from it so I just really prefer to take snippets and save screens out of my videos. I do not screenshot them that's not what I'm saying in Final Cut there's an option to literally save the um frame that you're on so like this photo is a saved frame from the video and i thought that it was fantastic and it would be a good one to use so we're going to do that and i do get a couple other things i knew i would need the tiktok logo and then i have a couple people who i chose to try their hacks so i'm going to add them into it so they're actually going to go first i'm going to delete that i try to work from the back to the front of the photo that way it's less moving so I'm gonna pick this one and I go to effects and I remove the background it may not remove the bottom text but we can crop that out so while it's removing the background let me go ahead and show you there's filters there's adjusting which is brightness saturation color all of that stuff that you would use to adjust a photo also if you hear my macbook making like vacuum noises it is because unfortunately it is going to heat up because i'm doing a lot of movement so just please ignore that sound and then you can crop a photo you can flip it you can change the position of it it's like it's getting louder the louder i talk and then you can also make a transparency and this one is lock where you lock it into place which i like to do that way it's not moving around as I'm changing things. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger and kind of get rid of the letters, like the type, the text down there. So we can have her all the way in here like this. And then I'm going to come over here and get this one. And these all just have everything to do with what I did in the video. It also gives them credit too. I'm real big on that. You know, I don't want to sit here and ever take somebody's shine or take their idea. So I just love to do this because I feel like it really gives them credit. And now removing the background usually does like a fantastic job. Okay, it usually does pretty good. Um, sometimes I will have to go in there and kind of do my own thing to fix it. I want to get rid of some of her text too. Um, so I'll show you here with this one. If you go here, there's erase if it didn't erase enough of the background and then there's restore. So if you want to restore something that it may have removed. So there's two different options with that. Okay, so now that I have that placed, I kind of like look at it. So once I find that I like them, that's when I'll lock it. I won't lock it quite yet because I really want to get all of them in place. I don't want to lock them because then I'm going back and unlocking them. So once I get basically the background of my image completed, we're going to move on to the next step. Oh, that one erased all of her TikTok. Oh, okay. So can I restore some of this? What's down here? There we go. So restoring it can be a little tricky because you don't want it to be messy but right now it's going to be fine because I just at least want her name to show so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come up in here and we're going to cut all that other mess out see how perfect that looks now you wouldn't even know you wouldn't even know all right so we're going to get her she needs to move and so from position I'm going to show you I'm going to move her backwards which is kind of crazy like see how it goes behind this photo now because I'm trying to get it so where it will align with myself. 
because I'm going to then put myself in here. Okay, so now I'm gonna come over here and put myself right here. Effects, remove the background. Again, I'm just kind of showing you like one that I would do the most on. Like this is something I go way out to do where some of them I don't, like I said, I don't always do this. I just kind of um, will use mine and then add different effects. So I'm going to move this just so I can touch her because if I'm not touching it, I'm going to just bring her in so we can see Miss Ma'am in the back. I think I'm just going to do, I actually think I'm going to remove this photo altogether. I just don't feel like I have enough space and I'm really, really big on keeping the area clean. And if her TikTok name isn't showing... So I think I'm going to remove all of the TikTok name from her and the other one just because they're going to be in the video. I will show the videos obviously so credit will be given but I want it to look neat. I don't want it to look messy. So I felt like that girl being having three photos behind me instead of just having the two is just it's too much. Um, you don't want them to be cluttered. You want your thumbnail to stand out but you don't want it to be cluttered. I, I really, really, really can't like, I can't express that enough that it's important to keep it clean. You want it to be nice and beautiful and stand out and be different, but you want to keep it clean. So I felt like four phases was just too much. So what I do when I remove my background is I like to put a blur behind me and this is the one I use the most. Um, I don't keep it this color so I go right on the edge and I'll make it a little transparent so it's not so dark and then I go to um, adjust and I pull it all the way over so it's white like a whitish and now what I'll do is I'll use the duplicate and I just put it around my whole body that way I stand out from the other two photos whatever they may be whether they're people whether they're products. So now that I have those blurs placed, I'm gonna click on my photo and I'm gonna bring it forward. Bring it forward, bring it forward, bring it forward, and just keep clicking until you're in front of all of those blurs. But see how now, like I'm standing out, I'm no longer just blending into the other photos or the backgrounds. So I'm gonna go now to the uploads where I got, I thought I had different, a different TikTok symbol. Maybe not. I think that this one actually comes with a TikTok symbol. Let me see. Tick tock. Oh, it does. Okay. So, and it's free. So instead of using my upload and cropping it, I'm literally just going to put a symbol here and duplicate it and then put a symbol here. Literally nothing crazy. And then I'm going to go to my elements and do my text. And this is how I do my text almost every single time. So I add a heading and then I do all caps. So I do something that will grab people's attention. I do not just put my title into my thumbnail because they can see the title. So I find that to be a waste of text. Sometimes you can just leave it like this. You don't really need text a lot. But sometimes I like to just like give it like a little zhuzh. So I'll be like, oh my god. No. And then, so that makes people curious as to like, oh my gosh, what is happening? So then I go to my favorite font, which is Anton. I think I'm saying that right, and it'll change it. And then I go to effects. You have all different kinds of effects here. You can make them bubble, you can make them glow, you can make them curve. I use splice, and then I make the inside white. And then I'll come here and make it real thick, and then make the offset gone, because I don't like the offset. So then I will find a place that this can go and usually it's up in the corner. Again, sometimes I'll be like, oh, I don't like the text and I just leave the text out completely because people understand, they see the people behind me, they see the thumbnail or the TikTok symbols and they're like, okay, cool, we understand that this has something to do with TikTok and makeup. However, I do like to add like something like I did here, like, oh my God, no, because people are going to be like, oh my gosh, what is happening? I find that it's very, very important. I'm going to go ahead here and finish this and then I'll go ahead and explain that to you guys. 
So what, now what I do is I download it. I do it as a PNG. I don't need to do any of these. You don't want to compress it. It will lower the quality and that is not something that you want. So I download it. And it's literally that easy. You can continue editing it. You can continue editing it if you find that once it's big like this, you don't like it. But I absolutely love this. I think that this turned out really, really good. And I'm super excited for you guys to see this video. Like, I really had a lot of fun filming it. So now I'm going to close out. It will save this. So if I go here and I go home, it will be here. So say I come back and I'm like, oh, it's still downloading. But say I come back and I want to edit it again. But like I've made my channel art this way. And I'm going to go to my YouTube and I'm going to show you guys some different things of how I do my channel. Just to kind of explain. I'll even go through some other people's just to give you like an idea of different. The main things that I will say that are 100% necessary is they need to be clean. They need to be clear. And they need to be honest. So you don't want to put something on your thumbnail that has nothing to do with the video, which would be clickbait. There are differences in clickbait and clickbait. I know that sounds weird, but there is. So clickbait, like the, oh my God, no. And then there's clickbait to, I burnt my eyelashes completely off. That's a lie. That's not, that's not clickbait. It's a lie. So I'd say clean, clear, and honest. But you want it to stand out, and that's really important. So if you come here to the Welsh Twins debunking stupid five minute, they have no text, which is totally fine. They have photos of what they're doing. They have arrows and stuff, and like you can circle your photos just to bring attention to what you're doing. Um, but it doesn't always need text. If you actually come in here, a lot of thumbnails do not have a lot of text. They just don't. So this one is dip powder nails, like. That's it. It's just pictures of her hands. So, and her video is doing fine. I find that I do love Bailey Sarian's, um, but sometimes they can get a little bit cluttered. I love her videos. I watch them all the time, but sometimes they can be a little bit cluttered, but that's just her technique and her way of doing things. So, and then you have this one where it says, it burnt my skin, Amazon. And I'm sitting here like, what burnt your skin? What does that have to do with Amazon? I want to click it, right? And then this one over here with the no ch credit check, um, it doesn't really tell me, it just says 10,000 whatever, but that's not what I'm looking at. It's the card because he has an item up front in your face, you know what you're dealing with kind of situation. So again, I just like, this is one of Bailey's that kind of is like, it's too much. This one where five strange unsolved missing cases. To me, it's just a lot. So I don't really prefer thumbnails with that much noise, but again, to each their own, I just, want to tell you that they need to be clear clear clean and stand out that's what you're looking for you don't want a blurry photo don't just leave your thumbnail a picture of the video because YouTube automatically does that and then just type over it you want it to be clean so if you can't take a photo or frame out of your video then I recommend even staging your photos and taking it with your iPhone and uploading it as a thumbnail so this right here, my channel art, I made on Canva. I absolutely love it. It's one of my best channel arts. I have been making new channel arts, gosh, every couple of months. And this one is my favorite, absolutely, because it really just tells you guys who I am and my personality in a simple photo. Like 100% this is me. <laughs> so, and then if you come down here and you just look at my thumbnails, sometimes I use text, sometimes I don't. This one has no text in it. And then there a lot of the times I'll use like just little symbols or there's no text in the Jacqueline one. So it just really depends on what I'm trying to put out there, um, whether or not I put text. Like this how to plan your YouTube video, I hated that one. After I watched it and like looked at it and still looking at it, I can go back and change it, but I just haven't. Uh, it's just too much, it's too cluttered. So then you have ones like this five below one where it's just literally me with bags that say hidden gems. So I just try to keep it clean, but I also want it to stand out. I want it to be different. If you look down long ago, I did a lot of yellow and black because B is my thing, but I felt like yellow just wasn't 
doing it for me but these are all staged photos okay these were not clips these are staged photos they look like staged staged photos and I just don't like them so I do make sure that I go and I just actually take my real expression out of the video some of them are darker some of them are lighter so you just want to make sure that they're consistent mine have not been look how dark those are so it's all a learning curve honestly I've practiced some with just backgrounds like this so it just depends on what you want and what you like don't be afraid to experiment and try new things I just don't recommend just putting up whatever thumbnail YouTube picks because you're not gonna stand out the big big thing you want to do on this platform is stand out because a thousand people can put up the same video but if you don't stand out you're not going to be picked they're gonna move on so I think it's very important that your thumbnails stand out as much as possible without being crazy and too loud so I just it depends on what makes you happy like I said if you want them to be loud and crazy you can this is not me saying that you're not allowed to do something that you want to do you're 110 percent allowed to do something that you want to do but you really just 100% want to make sure they're clean and they're well kept you want them to stand out but you don't want them to be too loud it's a complicated process and sometimes frustrating but we will get through this in the end and it's like I said it is a learning process I have grown so much from when I first started in 2018 so 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 much so I just think that it's definitely not something you just wake up one day and know how to do you know and people who have been doing it for 10 plus years are going to do it much better than we ever could and they probably have to put less effort into it so this is the final product of my thumbnail that we created today I hope that this helped but um, that's basically it and then when I upload the video I haven't uploaded the video yet I just upload this thumbnail and it's good to go and I feel like it's clean it stands out and people are wondering holy crap what happened with the oh my god no you know what I mean so just stuff like that like this blooper one I did it says this is why I'm not famous I've only gotten 14 views on it and unfortunately those videos don't do very well um, but I do have one subscriber Tammy who loves them and I won't stop doing them simply because one of my subscribers absolutely loves them and they're fun for me to create because I feel like it really gives you guys a taste of my personality but something like that like this is why I'm not famous it's funny it stands out it grabs attention so I hope this helped you guys I'm gonna go ahead and hop back on camera for you in just a second so that is it for today's video guys I hope it really helped you learn and kind of like get to know how I do my YouTube thumbnails I hope it helped you maybe create your own YouTube thumbnails let me know down below what you currently use to create your thumbnail like software wise is it Photoshop is it pick monkey I know that there are several out there so just let me know down below what you guys use but I really do hope that this helped you Canva is super easy to maneuver and use at least in my opinion so I really do love it I want to eventually try to use Photoshop but I'm not really certain if I'm at that level of like editing yet so I'm just holding off but I hope you guys like this video I hope it helped out a lot if it did make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for me make sure you are subscribed to my channel I do six videos every single week you do not want to miss out on those and I will see you guys on the next one bye